he is he reminds me a lot of my my oldest boy and I'm, I'm very much in love with his comedy it's it's weird I know it is very weird let's give it up for my very good friend JT Foreman a lot of people used to tell me I look like a serial killer yeah they're all gone now <laughs> I had the hot wings. Any restaurant that sells hot wings should be required by law to put a warning sign on the bathroom door that says, wash your hands before you touch your penis. <laughs> <laughs> it burns. <laughs> on the way here, I saw a sign that said, end road work. That's the weirdest protest I've ever heard of. <laughs> I ran a DVD, but I got there late, so I missed the previews. I don't know what that means either, so. <laughs> I had lunch with my mother the other day. Ordered a hamburger with no pickles or onions. She told me I should eat more vegetables, so I asked for extra ketchup. She made me promise I would be more healthy, so I went to the grocery store to get a healthy snack, I bought an apple. It was $1.50 for one apple. I can't afford to be healthy. It's cheaper to eat junk food get lipo every six months. <laughs> I did start going to the gym lately. I'm not trying to lose weight, though. I just want to be able to eat more. <laughs> the trainer asked me if my goal was to build or tone. Actually, I was hoping to supersize. I, don't know, I could use, lose a few pounds. I'm not too worried about it. I can still tie my shoes without holding my breath, so I'm fine. <laughs> I just don't want to end up like the guy at Denny's. Dude was wearing suspenders with sweatpants. <laughs> guy next to him was buttering his toast for him. I'm like, wow, you go out to eat and you brought a pit crew? <laughs> I also mentioned that I had a sore back. She told me I should get a massage. I don't understand how a hand job is going to help my back. <laughs> and why is my mother suggesting I go get a hand job? <laughs> But then I remember she's actually a licensed massage therapist, so she meant a real, uh, real massage. I, I do not want to get a massage from my mother. <laughs> Last thing I want is my mother to whisper in my ear, would you like a happy ending? <laughs> that is a very unhappy ending right there. So, anyone ever have one of those nightmare roommates? Has anyone ever been one of those nightmare roommates? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. It's my buddy Steve when I lived in Houston. It, he would borrow my magazines, return them all messed up. Finally had to cancel my subscription to Highlights for Children. <laughs> Use my toothbrush and to clean the gum off his shoes. He once told me, it's not really your apartment until you've pissed in the kitchen sink. <laughs> do you have to do it while I'm standing here? <laughs> Just let me finish the dishes. <laughs> Just do me a favor. Number two, disposal side. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was a really shitty joke. But I'm pumped. You like to go to strip clubs. I don't. Strip clubs are, it's like an ocean of bad boob jobs. I swear to, girl, I swear to God, I saw this one girl, her tits had appendix scars. <laughs> but, uh, one time we were up late. He was wasted. He smoking pot. He smokes pot. I don't. He used to say, if you're not smoking with me, you're smoking against me. <laughs> he swears that makes sense if you're hot. <laughs> I would ask Byron if he were here, he'd be able to tell me. <laughs> but uh, he asked me what I would do if I won the lottery. I said, well, I'd probably go back to that strip club and pick out a girlfriend. Here's his plan. He would... Uh, move to another country, become a citizen of that country, and then bribe whoever he had to be to become a diplomat, and then move back to the United States with diplomatic immunity. That would be awesome. I mean, you could speed through school zones, running over 
nuns while hookers smoke, snort cocaine off of your cock. <laughs> they couldn't even arrest the prostitute because, well, sorry, but she's carrying my diplomatic package. It's <laughs> awesome. So I got a shitty car. It's a 2003 Kia Rio. I think it should have been called a Reno because if you own a Kia, you probably vacation in Reno because you can't afford the real Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. No power in this thing. Going over the grapevine, I got passed by a Winnebago that was towing a boat. Turn on the headlights, I lose 50 horsepower. But it's small, too. Hatchback opens up into the glove compartment. Thought about putting it in a sunroof just so I can sit up straight. It's easy to find parking, though. I get to where I'm going, I just put it in my pocket. Maintenance is cheap. Did an oil change. I bought one quart and had leftovers. No spark plugs in it. Matches. Yeah. You know, the uh, the thing that really bothers me about it is that it, my car is never going to get me laid. The only way my car is ever going to get me laid is if I screw the tailpipe. And that burns even worse than the hot wings. My name is J.T. Foreman. Thanks a lot. Enjoy yeah. If you like my jokes, check out my podcast. It's at bittercomics.podbean.com. Have a good night. Let's give it up for the guy who just busted Hero's new cherry. Yeah. 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 First on host comedian up on the mic at the new Heroes.